The countdown to the total solar eclipse is now down to just one hand. Five, five days until a suntastic event. <laughs> and more than 31 million people from Texas to Maine will be in that prime location to experience Monday's eclipse, including Ohio. Uh -huh. Thanks for staying with us here for 10 TV News at 530. I'm Angela Ann. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Tonight, we are making sure that you are well prepared to experience the eclipse safely. Let's begin with what COSI experts are telling us. They say they want the families to know the only safe way to see the eclipse while looking up is with those safety rated glasses. If you don't have any of those special glasses, do not do not try to watch the eclipse through your smartphone. If you point your phone directly at the sun or an eclipse for an elongated amount of time, your phone's camera will be damaged. It'll hurt your eyes looking through your screen, and the reason behind this is that there's no pain receptors in your eyes, and the UV radiation that's going directly into them is harmful. So if you look at the sun for a couple seconds, like, that doesn't hurt, you will most likely have damage later. Wow, mm. you can damage your cell phone if you do do that. Yeah. So there's a number that's critical to remember with these eclipse glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, they're right here on the little ear part. They have to be ISO rated. You see the number? There we go. 12312-2. You want to make sure your glasses have that printed somewhere on them. That means they're legit. Exactly, yeah. and that they will protect your mm -hmm. eyes. Now, if you're still thinking, well, I'm just going to peek for a few seconds, Ooh. think again. After decades working at Perkins Observatory in Delaware, Director Don Stevens knows his stuff. There are safe ways to use a telescope, but you need special filters. The astrophysicist showed us what happens if you don't and decide to look through the scope with your naked eye. If you were unwise and decided to do this, this is basically what's going to happen. So let's say this pine cone is your eyeball. As you can see, very quickly, it begins to burn this cone. Your eyeball's wet and squishy. Instead, it's going to flash heat the fluids in your eyeball and explode your eyeball out the socket. Stevens also cautions anyone who thinks they can use solar eclipse glasses with a telescope. Well, let's see what happens. He says the magnification is just too much for your eye to handle. Let me get it centered here. Yeah, as you see, it has melted its way through the, the plastic very quickly. Rather than risk your sight, Stevens suggests enjoying the eclipse by looking around you instead of up. Like a cow pasture, you'll see the cows lay down. They'll think it's becoming night. Uh, if the crickets are out, you might start hearing them. Um, birds will begin to roost. The temperature will change. It'll drop a few degrees. Does that mean we get to go to bed too when it gets night? Oh boy. I don't know, but in other words, he says leave the picture taking to the pros. Perkins Observatory, by the way, will be closed on Monday.